Hello and good morning listeners. Welcome back to Almas Market Mornings with Shikhar Gar, your daily dose of global financial update. Now folks, times have been quite interesting with the central bank still in the hot seat to manage the inflation. For instance, RBA, the uh, Reserve Bank of Australia in their minute signaled abandoning pausing of rate hikes after considering inflation to be stickier. Now such concerns of extended monetary tightening cycle were also seen in the domestic markets. pushing the borrowing costs for the uh, a lot of corporates uh, on the higher side along with the yields on the bond uh, issued by the private firms bond yields issued by the private firms on the oil on the other hand is enjoying opening of the chinese markets and russia seems to be capitalizing on this opportunity quite well but it seems that the dollar rally has lost its steam as the momentum started dying down waiting for further data release so jk i'd like your outlook on what's uh, the expectations for dollar and uh, the global uh, monetary tightening cycles that we are seeing hey good morning uh, it's been a quiet start to the week uh, with a little by way of data flow yesterday and uh, us was obviously out of the uh, market uh, because of uh, president's day holiday <clears throat> but as we are nearing the anniversary of ukraine war on february 24th uh, the two world leaders who are calling the shots are in the limelight again biden visited ukraine where he pledged unwavering support for the country's uh, uh, you know fight against the russian invasion uh, that commit coming that's coming uh, amid signs that russia is preparing for a larger offensive which will involve uh, more air power than used in uh, you know used to data and reports uh, since uh, denied to by officials of Euro- european side <clears throat> that china may be pl- planning to provide arms to the russians as well uh, at the same time putin's uh, speech is scheduled today and that will garner all attention uh, he is likely to update russia's political and military alight on the state of what he calls a special military operation in ukraine with uh, many russians eager to know what his plans are for the uh, year ahead for the markets which uh, seem to have gone into a slumber suddenly uh, putin's speech may stir up uh, some action uh, actually on the market itself yesterday i think the biggest news was chinese market surging 2% and uh, the growth story in china is getting more traction and uh, easing is expected further in the chinese market as well and uh, the growth rate in china uh, is expected to improve from 3.5% to 5% this year and then this was clearly reflected in a big surge in iron ore prices uh, which have already rallied 57% uh, since last year and the uh, there is expectation that it can surge further uh, by you know, another 20% even the copper prices uh, went up uh, yesterday you know uh, by rising uh, 3% and analysts estimate that you know the deficits in both these metals are likely to play on the prices uh, at the same time natural gas prices uh, have hit uh, uh, you know uh, a low which was seen before well before the ukraine war and it is uh, trading at uh, 2.23 and that's really giving a very good support to the eurozone economy uh, who you know uh, whose uh, stocks have done well currency has done well and uh, there is uh, Uh, you know suddenly emergence of inflation unabating inflation uh, where you know the central bank is likely to uh, put up rates more again in fact uh, the european central bank uh, uh, official mr rehan yesterday was saying that inflation was uh, so high that future rate hikes beyond march does seem likely logical and appropriate and important that we reach a restrictive level and stay there for quite some time this is just going same line what uh, the us officials have been saying uh, and uh, definitely that's kept the the eurozone bond yields uh, higher uh, important he also said hard to imagine an end to rate hikes as long as core inflation which will test out volatile uh, uh, energy and food prices uh, remains high even as markets are pricing in the rate cut for early 24 he warned uh, you know about the risk of easing up too early uh, at the same time bank of japan official said that uh, they have operational tools to exit the easy money policy and interest is surrounding the uh, you know speech or rather the hearing that uh, the new boj nominee uh, will face the lower house of parliament on february 24th on the same day we will also have inflation number from 
uh, Japan. So it's going to be uh, action packed second half of the week that uh, you know one should uh, look forward to uh, in the coming days. As you said, the Reserve Bank of Australia Fed minutes uh, was uh, uh, Fed minutes was actually uh, hawkish, but it's not a surprise because I think immediately after the rate hike. Uh, I mean, Slovay had already indicated that there can be more rate hikes. So, uh, as I said, data slate gets thicker uh, as we you know enter uh, from today onwards. Uh, PMIs, the initial surveys by S and P Global, and the inflation from Eurozone uh, and Japan. PC core from US, on which a lot of interest will be surrounding. EFO and new survey from Germany, and finally uh, Japan uh, new. We were the chief hearing in the lower house of uh, uh, parliament. So uh, that's what we are, uh, you know, looking forward to an action packed uh, second half of the week. On the uh, rupee, of course, uh, action was far limited yesterday, uh, confined to about 10 pesa moment. Uh, uh, as the ranges get narrower, there is a sense that, you know, it can result in a sudden burst of uh, movement on either side. And uh, as of now, uh, the flows seem to be balanced, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, it needs to be seen how it pans out in the coming days uh, with a uh, lot of focus on, uh, you know, RBI uh, policy and then the deficits which have come down, whether it will sustain some of the investment bankers uh, or research houses are calling uh, that the deficits may remain lower for much of uh, this year. So uh, much of it, uh, the uh, traders and, the uh, you know, uh, market uh, 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 market can take uh, as at face value uh, is what will determine the near term direction for the dollar rupee. Eventually, uh, what will determine is uh, how much flows we get uh, uh, because even if the deficits are at this level, we still need flows. So, so uh, rupee still awaiting a larger direction. Thank you. Okay, quite interesting to see uh, the expectations for a lower deficit for the whole year. But uh, as DK mentioned, folks, uh, we still need capital flows to offset whatever the uh, reduced uh, trade deficit would be to you know offset the kind of dollar demand that we are already seeing with the increased uh, or the higher import amounts that we have as an economy. But on the other side, it's also... Uh, something to be watched out for as uh, the second half of this week uh, is going to be quite heavy on the data side and uh, we already have been hearing about the uh, you know change in stance or the expected change in stance by this uh, Japanese central bank and it will be quite interesting to watch the new nominee to you know guide his thoughts ahead in the financial markets you know on the other hand uh, has been, uh, you know, quite uh, consistent in their uh, recent commentaries about the rate hikes to be continued as the inflation has continued to stay higher. But the energy prices, especially the natural gas prices, which were initially being uh, quite heavily talked about, has come down, as JK mentioned, to the pre-Ukraine, uh, Russia-Ukraine war level. Uh, any... Uh, other uh, support is also expected for the European zone. But what is the key for today is the Putin speech that everyone's going to be watching out for. So folks, let's see how things go about. Uh, that's it for today. And we shall come back again with another round of updates tomorrow just for you guys. Thank you so much for listening.